Good morning everyone. Uh, it's been raining since about six o'clock last night and it's absolutely freezing. Um, I don't know if you can see, I've got my thin chalet on. It's, uh, yeah, it's really, really cold. So what I've been doing um, to save myself being outside is going through some of the stuff in these rooms. Um, so I've emptied out this uh, this chest of drawers and it was mainly just bits of material and, and bits like that. Um, I assume there's probably some things in here that Nikki can turn into a scarf. So uh, so when you guys visit, you can take your pick. Um, got a ton of uh, decent rugs and throws. These are all really, really nice and clean folded in there. Um, we've got old photos and... I don't know if these are, you know, some kind of passport, but it looks like maybe it was someone who was in the service, and it says there 1941 to 1945. Um, so maybe it was a, a soldier or, or something like that that was here. Um, yeah, we, we don't want to throw this stuff away, but but we want to pick out some nice pictures and stuff and uh, and put them up around the house. I mean, this one I really like. It's just on a boat. Really nice. Um, I know that Jeff might like this. This is another one of those charcoal uh, drawings. Um, looks a bit Hitler-esque. But, uh, but aside from that, I like it. Uh, what else did I do in this room? Um, oh, I found some old shotgun shells. You know, so for when I get my gun. And look at the end on that. I mean, that thing is monstrous. Um, so I'm just leaving them there for now. Uh, I got in a load of stuff from that disaster room. Um, so they can be in here, be dry. Um, there's a broken window in there, so it's real cold. Um, I got the singer out this morning because um, I was looking last night at uh, how to date them and it's with a serial number so the serial number is here and it starts with a J which according to the interwebs means it's 1904 so yeah it's a real real old one um, I mean even this plate on the end is really ornate it's uh, it's lovely I don't want to clean it up or anything I'd love to keep it how it is um, and it it folds as well for for some reason. I don't know what you would do with that. Um, I'm not a seamstress. So maybe I'll have to ask my nan. She's always been pretty good with this stuff. Uh, what else? Yeah, I got out the trunk, emptied the leaves, got out the hat rack, which is a bit wobbly, but we can fix that. Um, I'll go into the, the horrid room. Um, I've left this in here because it's it's pretty heavy and to be honest with you sitting there it's it's not in my way um, so, so that's all right I got the rugs up off the floor all of the clothes and stuff I've thrown here I mean the clothes literally you pull them and they fall apart so um, so they're just gonna have to go in the bin unfortunately um, this table seen better days but it's actually extendable, um, which I didn't know. I don't know if I can get underneath. Yeah, so you can see there that you can pull out both the left and the right. So so this bit here comes out, and, and so does the other side. So maybe if I can replace the tops, um, we could have that as a dining table. Fix it up, I think that could be kind of nice. Um, I got off a few bits from the hornet's nest. Uh, yeah, I mean, as much as I could. Um, you can see the floor here is actually, it's that, uh, like, hay-clay mixture. And this is actually one of the beams that you see from downstairs. So, uh, so all of this has got to come up. We have to replace everything and, and put down a new subfloor. But the beams will stay, obviously. Um, okay, so... Uh, that room actually has no electrical points, uh, it has no lights, it has nothing. So I don't know why you pick that room to work in. 
seems a bit strange. Um, in this room, much the same. Uh, all of the garbage stuff are thrown on here. Stucked up some some rubbish chairs. Um, now this desk is really really cool. Um, unfortunately, it is only a plywood top. Um, if it was a a solid top, it'd be worth quite a lot of money. Um, but everything else is oak. So I'm wondering if maybe one day I can make a top for it, and we we reuse this. Maybe this could be. M's office table or, or something. Um, I got this this out. I saw it's got some other functions on it. I don't know if you can see here, but there's numbers one, two, and three, and that's to allow how much heat comes out of this section. It's uh, it's really cool. Or, or you can just have it open. Um, so it's an easy way to throw your wood in and and stuff like that. It's uh, yeah, it's amazing. Absolutely amazing. It's very heavy, but I wanted to move it out of that corner just so I could see if the floor was damaged. Um, I've moved the table to here because there was some water coming through. That's an old chimney there, so I'm going to have to to brick that up from above. Um, I think today I might remove all of this so I can see if there's any more damage here. Um, I didn't. Hold on, I'm just going to walk on here. There we go. Um, I didn't actually mention yesterday that the hole wasn't this big when we arrived. This is me ripping it apart so I could see exactly how bad it was. Um, yeah, it's, it's going to need some work, but the only thing this beam is doing is supporting the, the, the ceiling. You know, it's not, um, it's not supporting the roof. So we could actually remove that beam and it would still be totally fine. Um, so I've got a feeling that's what I'm going to have to do and then replace it with one that we've got downstairs. Um, yeah, we will see. If I if I get into that today, then, uh, then I'll take a video of it. Um, I was hoping today to be working on this section. I don't know if you can see, I've removed a lot of the stones and I'm back to the mud. So all of this ground here wants to come this way and that wall was holding it back. Um, so really I need to rebuild that wall kind of sharpish um, if, it's, if the weather is going to continue being like this. If the weather's good I don't think we'll have a problem um, but I'm going to have to build it sort of two feet at a time and I want to backfill with all of the broken tiles, some cement, you know, anything that we can throw behind there for a bit of stability. Um, but when it's when it's raining and it's freezing cold, I don't want to get my hands wet. I don't want to get my feet wet. Um, so yeah, you'll have to forgive me for not doing that today. Um, all right, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I'll turn the lights out. Um, yeah, yeah, it's not really an, anything else up here. Um, if I do start taking the ceilings out, I'll take the ceiling out in here as well, just to see if any of that water has spread. Um, I got up in the loft, I can't remember if it was yesterday or the day before, and it didn't look too bad. I mean, it's a, it's a, a short space, but you can move around up there, and, and there doesn't seem to be too much damage. Um, but yeah, I'll keep you updated on that anyway. Alright guys, hope you're all well.